I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And of course, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. Today, I'll share with you the best way to fill gaps, especially for resin-casted miniatures and 3D-printed miniatures. Filling gaps, especially really big gaps, can be a tedious and very messy process. For plastic miniatures, cements can be more than enough. Super glue sprinkled with talcum powder also works. And of course, we have the typical white potty. There are two types of white potty. You have the toxic-based and of course, the water-based plastic potty. Texture paints also work for filling huge gaps, but they dry super slow. Now, if you do a lot of diorama or miniature terrains, of course, the hardware plastic potty also works. However, today, I'll share with you like the best way to fill gaps. UV resin potty usually comes with a very liquid form, in very liquid form, and they're usually transparent. The UV potty we're using today is kinda has a whitish like consistency or whitish color which is great because you see that it kinda fills the gaps very effectively. First off, I am not sponsored by this brand but my daughter is, Nico, my Gunpla Modeler daughter. This potty is kind of weird because you have to shake it. Normally, the transparent, like usual versions, you don't really have to shake. But this one, you have to shake it so that you get the proper consistency and of course, you get the whitish color. Like any UV resin potty, you could like apply it all over the model because this, this material, this material won't cure until you like put UV light on top of it but that is tricky I suggest you like apply this in sections because you'll forget that you did not put light on some areas of the model especially for this one which is really big the main advantage of UV potty over the usual plastic potty or the white potty is that this doesn't shrink and shrinkage with the usual potty is a problem because they're very like slow drying and slow curing. So you have to wait until they like kind of fully cure before you apply another layer. With UV potty, it almost instantly cures in seconds once you apply a UV light. But what makes this UV resin that we're using today different from the usual UV resin? First, you have to shake, which is weird, but it's like different from the usual UV resin. You just need to shake a few seconds, in a few seconds, a few shakes, and then you'll have a whitish consistency, which is perfect as you can see in the video. That consistency is perfect for making pimples and making like veins or even roots. I've used this potty with so many miniatures that I've done for the past like couple of months. You see, the consistency or viscosity of this resin is a little bit thicker than usual and thus you could like make really nice pimples as you could see in the video. I've also done like, like some veins and of course some roots and, and it's super super easy to use. And of course, it's not curing until you put UV light on top of it. So if you're not happy with your pimple work, you could simply wipe it off. The viscosity is also perfect for like very narrow gaps and medium-sized gaps. Of course, it won't run through the gap but you have to guide it with a brush or a really old brush or some sort of tool. Much like any UV resin though, this is very very durable. 
And it has, it, the adhesion is very good. I, I try to chip it off with my nail. And of course you can, but it takes so much force to do that. I don't think this brand has a website or even has a web store. But I'll ask my daughter Nico where to get it. Of course, if you can't get this particular product, you could use the usual UV resin. However, those are transparent and you can't really clearly see how it fills the gaps. I think the product name is Gemo, but I can't read like the Chinese or whatever writings on the label. I think this is made in Taiwan or Hong Kong. I'm not really sure, but it's really good stuff. Now my daughter Nico kind of likes using the paste version a lot more than the liquid version. She uses this to like for the modifications of her gunpla like when she extends the foot or whatever armor part and needs clean up. She'll use this paste potty on the gunpla. The chit pan chit, I hope you like the video and watch these other videos.